What happened to Nipsey Hussle? Grammy-nominated rapper and community advocate Nipsey Hussle was fatally shot on Sunday in an incident that the Los Angeles Police Department says arose from a personal dispute. Hours after surveillance footage of the shooting made its way online, a longer version emerged that gave a clearer view of the shooter. Here we recreate what went down based on that video. CBS reports that on March 31st, rapper Nipsey Hussle and three other men were standing in front of his clothing store in LA's Hyde Park. According to the LAPD, gang member Eric Holder approached the group several times, engaging them in conversation before leaving. According to CNN, Holder returned around 3.20 p.m., armed with a handgun and opened fire at the group. Surveillance video from an adjacent business shows Hustle and another man fall to the ground as the others run from the gunfire. In the video, the shooter appears to walk away, before then coming back to shoot Hustle a second time and then a third. He kicks the rapper after the third shot, then flees the scene. CNN reports that Hustle died from gunshots to the head and torso. Two others were wounded. According to the LAPD, Holder ran down an alley following the shooting and got into a waiter car driven by a woman, which then sped away. The LA Times reports that the woman turned herself in after news of the shooting broke out, claiming she didn't know what Holder did when she picked him up. Holder was later arrested in the Bellflower area after being spotted by a resident. TMZ, citing multiple sources, says Holder and Hustle had a tense exchange before the shooting. Holder allegedly sought revenge after feeling disrespected when Nipsey asked him if he had snitched to the cops in the past.